Hey guys, so welcome back. Today's video is going to be a Sephora haul. So today I decided to actually switch things up a little bit. I'm doing a try on Sephora haul. So rather than me just holding up the products, showing you swatches, I'm gonna be doing that, but also trying everything on camera for the first time, just so you guys can see how it looks on my face. So this is the look I created today with all the new products that I got. I actually saw this from originally from Tati and a couple other people, and I thought it was just such a cool idea because hauls are so much fun, but I feel like sometimes they can get a little Competitive, and I do a lot of hauls on my channel so I figured I would do it this way so let me know if you like this style haul down below and I'm also working with Ebates again today for this haul because you guys know Ebates is my favorite because it's literally free money whenever I shop online I always use it because you're getting literally free money and what I love about Ebates is that it's the easiest way to get cash back when shopping online. All you have to do is go to ebates.com, make an account. It's totally free, not a scam, I promise. And then that's it. You just search for the stores that you like to shop at and then you just click the link. It'll direct you to the store and you're gonna get your cash back. You can get it through PayPal or check your personal preference and it's super easy. So if you guys are frequent online shoppers, I highly encourage you to do it. I will leave a link down below. And if you do use my link, you actually do get a $10 welcome bonus if you spend over $25. So that leads me into my next point, which is the giveaway. One person will be winning a $100 Sephora gift card, and I'll leave all the details in the description box below if you don't feel like hearing me talk, but all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, of course, sign up for Ebates, and comment anything you want down below. So good luck to all of you guys. I hope you like the video, and let's just go ahead and jump into the try-on haul. guys so the first thing that I actually got is an eye cream I've been on the hunt for a really good eye cream for a long time and I got so many recommendations for you guys a couple months ago when I talked about my skincare routine and a lot of people were actually talking about this benefit it's potent eye cream so I saw it online it had like mixed reviews I mean I feel like a lot of things when it comes to like skincare always has mixed reviews because skincare works differently for everybody especially eye creams so I picked this one up the packaging is super cute and I'm just gonna use some today before my makeup because I mean like why not it's like very thin it has a really like kind of lotion-y consistency so we shall see obviously I'm not gonna see like any results I just used it today, but I will keep you guys posted on this eye cream. So I picked up a new eyeshadow palette. This is the NARS Narcissist Loaded Eyeshadow Palette. Look at how beautiful the packaging is. I've tried a NARS blush and bronzer palette, obsessed with it. It is absolutely stunning, 100% worth the money. So I figured I would give their eyeshadows a try. I've never tried them before, and look at this. Like, literally, it's like the perfect neutral palette. Like, I'm obsessed. So that is what some of the swatches are looking like. It actually looks really nice. There's a little bit of fallout, like when I just rub my finger in the palette, but that happens with a lot of my eyeshadows, so let's see if it's any good on the eyes. I did prime my lids already with the NYX eyeshadow base, so I'm just going to be taking the neutral cream color in the palette just to set the eyeshadow base. And I'm just using an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I think that's what it's called, is it? Yes. <laughs> There definitely is fallout like it's a little bit powdery but like I said that happens with a lot of my shadows so I'm gonna pick up the soft peach color right on the end just as my neutral blending color I'm using a Sigma e40 blending brush just to apply this right into my crease and all over my lid you don't really ever have to be specific when it comes to a transition color just as long as you have something in there to blend everything out in the end this is a really nice color because it's like really light and it's always good to go in with a light shade versus going in with something super dark that way when you blend everything out it looks seamless and i think today i want to create a halo smoky eye that's what i'm kind of feeling with this palette today so lots of blending is going to be needed the big mirror in here is like super convenient also when filming tutorials. I know a lot of people don't care about mirrors, but I really like that about this palette and I love the packaging. I'm going to be using this smaller blending brush. I got this in a set from a BH Cosmetics brush kit. I'm going to be using the next transition color right next to the peach and applying that right into my crease in the same spot where I just applied. I have to sneeze. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be using the color right next to the soft peach shade and I'm just going to be taking this and applying it directly where I just applied that soft peach color. It's 
really pigmented. I like this palette. It's super smooth. It like it blends so easily. When you just apply it right into the crease, it literally blends like a dream. Just starting out with very light product because I always struggle with halo smoky eyes and I want to make sure that it's nice and blended today. Next, I'm going to pick up that beautiful, like, darker silver color right on the end. And I want to do a halo smoky eye, but I'm going to try a new technique. I'm going to start by applying the shade, like, the light color all over my lid first. Then I'm going to go in with darker shades in the inner corner and on the outer corner of my eye. Just to see how it turns out. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to go with the flow. I'm going to be using a flat shader brush from Urban Decay. It came with my Naked palette. Ooh, this is really pigmented. Ooh, this is like a pretty silver. Is this even silver? Is it just me or does this have like a green undertone to it? It's really pretty. It's like different. I thought it was silver. Oh wow, that's so pretty. This is like a light, like silver green color. It's so different. Oh my god, I really love that. And do you see how pigmented that is? I didn't like wet my brush or anything. I'm going to use this like domed brush. This one's from Royal and Lang Nickel. And I'm going to pick up that brown color, which I know it's going to be really pigmented. I can like already tell because it looks so rich in the pan. And I'm going to start creating the halo look. So I'm going to just apply a little bit in the inner corner. I know it looks so sloppy, but I'm gonna blend it out. Kind of just wiping away the inner corners because I feel like with dark eyeshadow, I don't like it to be like in here too dark because then it looks like, like a bruised eye, you know what I mean? I'm gonna add a little bit more of the like green silver color just right to the center because I don't want to lose that because it's such a gorgeous shade. Now I have to do this to this eye. This brown color is actually like really like rich and dark when you build it up. Like it almost looks black. So for lashes, I have the Huda Beauty Samantha Number no. 7 Lash. I've never tried any of her lashes before, and I saw really good reviews online. These looked so pretty online, and they had the best reviews, so I figured I would give these a try. I don't really try out a lot of high-end lashes, just because I feel like Ilore has so many, like, good dramatic and, like, natural ones, so I always, like... Go for the ones at the drugstore, but I figured I would give these a try because, like I said, they had good reviews. These are really pretty. They are really wispy. The band is thick, but it's, like, really flexible. I feel like it's really easy to apply. You just have to make sure that when you apply your lashes, you let the glue dry for at least, like, a minute. So the lashes are amazing. The eyeshadow palette is amazing. I'm really, like, obsessed with everything so far that I've tried. Now I got some face products. So the next thing that I got is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. I have this one in the shade tan sand and I honestly have never really tried a ton of stick foundations I love like a few from the drugstore for contouring but actually for foundation I've really only loved the hourglass vanish stick so let's see if this lives up to that so there's only 0.32 ounces in here which eh, usually stick foundations don't get a lot of product but I don't know if this color is going to match me because I'm trying to match like my neck like my soft tanner so we shall see it doesn't smell like anything. Um, let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see the foundation. I'm not going to use any primer or anything just because whenever I use a new foundation, I like to see how it wears on my bare skin. That way I know for like the future, for more times that I'm using it, what kind of products I really should use with it. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Whoa, I don't know if this color is going to match me. I'm going to do just two stripes on my cheek, one down my nose, one on my chin, and one right in my forehead. Okay, so I'm gonna use a sponge on one side and then a brush on the other. I'm gonna be using this Ofra sponge on this side just to blend it out. This color might be a little too dark for me. 
because I'm not freshly self tanned. It's kind of like a thicker, like I mean I know it's a stiff foundation, but it feels like, like it's not like a really creamy foundation, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna use a brush on the other side. That's what this side looks like. I'm gonna be using this uh, Moda Beauty face brush. You can get this like four pack of brushes like this at Walmart or online. Just gonna blend that out, buff it into my skin. These brushes, like for me, whenever I use them with like my favorite foundations, they give me like such full coverage. So with this foundation, I don't really see like super full coverage. You can see like a little bit of my scarring there. It's like creamy when you apply it, but then actually blending it out, it feels a little bit like thicker consistency. It's not super, super creamy. Okay, so I would say it's definitely medium to full coverage. It's nice, it gives you like a natural finish, I would say, like it doesn't look completely matte and it doesn't look really dewy either. So it's just like right in the middle. So the next thing that I got is a new concealer. This is a new brand at Sephora called Pretty Vulgar and this is the Undercover Concealer. And I have this one in the shade 63. The packaging of this brand is super cute and it's super sleek, which I really like. So this one is actually in this shade 63, the middle ground. It smells like paint. Kind of smells like the Wet n Wild foundation. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply this right underneath my eyes. I think this color should be good for me. So you can definitely still see a little bit of my darkness peeking through, so the concealer definitely is not like heavy duty like the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to add a little bit more because my dark circles are vicious. Let's see how this builds up. It blends really nicely though. So the next thing that I got is the Sephora Bright Set Powder, and this one's in the shade 01 Banana. I saw this online, it was actually on sale, and it just reminded me so much of the NYX HD Banana Powder, which I love, so I'm like, hmm, let me see if it's comparable. So I'm just going to be using a Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush, I'm just going to set. This is like straight up like yellow powder. But it's not super bright underneath the eyes. Super neutral. Like it's not like a really white banana color, you know what I mean? So that's really nice. The powder is just neutral. Like it's not super brightening, but it set the concealer. So I didn't get another face powder, so what I'm gonna do is just very lightly with this large powder brush from Royal and Lang Nickel. I'm just going to dip into the banana powder since it's so neutral. I'm just going to very lightly dust this on the rest of my face just because I'm kind of nervous about the foundation, like how product is going to go on over top of it. So I want to make sure I set it that way everything goes on as smooth as possible. Zoom back in a little bit. I'm going to finish up the lower lashes. I'm going to use the brown color. That I was using earlier. And that's pretty much it for the eyes. The only other thing I'm going to do is just apply some bottom lash mascara. Okay, the next thing that I got is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. This is just a bronzer and I have this one in the shade 30M. I absolutely love the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion highlighters. They are like literally wet and so blinding. I'm obsessed with them. So I saw this and I was like, this bronzer has to be amazing. It actually didn't have amazing reviews online, but I just wanted to give it a shot myself and try it out myself. So, damn, this thing looks dark. Oh my gosh, it looks like a really like red brown color. Ooh. I'm gonna use this brush from Target. It's from the Up and Up brand, and I'm just gonna dip in here and I guess just. See what happens. Tap off the excess. It 
It's actually not like as pigmented or dark as I thought it would be. It's like a reddish brown color. I don't know if this is really the best like complementary color for me. Like it doesn't really suit my skin tone, I feel like. I like don't want to add too much more product over top. I don't know. I don't really like this bronzer too much. To be honest, I thought it was gonna be like really good and like buttery, and I'm like not feeling it. The bronzer's like nothing. Like it literally did nothing for me. Let me swatch this. Look how dark that is when I swatch it. Oh my god, it looks like caca. It's a nice bronzer color, but you see like on my skin I feel like it's just like not even picking up any product on my brush like barely so the next thing that I got I'm actually really excited for it's the Huda Beauty 3d highlighter palette this is another product that I've seen like everywhere and I was like I don't need you but I want you so I'm gonna get you so you get a blush and three highlighters so the highlighters seem nice because there's like different types of colors is this cream Oh, one of them is a cream. Mm, I don't really like cream products. They seem nice though, like pigmented wise. Well, actually, uh, they seem decent. They don't seem like, oh my goodness, like out of this world. They are pretty and they're pigmented, but they're not like blowing me away. Really, I'm not gonna use the cream. I don't really wanna put a cream product right now on my face. Um, so I'm gonna skip out on that. The color Fiji up at the top is cream right here so i don't really like that okay that's fine i'm just going to use something different so i'm gonna use the shade say i don't know how to pronounce these names and a lot of people get mad at me when i don't know how to pronounce things so i apologize in advance but i think it's say cellas i don't know it's like a champagne-ish color i'm using my morphe m501 oh it is pretty it's showing up really pretty it's actually like a gold like a light gold champagne highlight hmm, now that is really pretty actually oh my god hmm damn that's a nice highlighter okay i'm gonna go in with a blush right here this one's in the shade zanzibar and i'm gonna use a sonia kashuk stippling brush just to apply this I should have used the blush first. I don't know why. I was just so excited about the highlighter. I always do bronzer, blush, then highlight, but that's okay. It's a really pretty, like, natural flush blush on the cheeks. It's not, like, super pigmented. Like, it doesn't pick up a ton of product on your cheeks right away. You have to, like, build it up. But I know a lot of people like blushes like that. They don't really like them super pigmented, so... So, I mean, that's really nice. I feel like it's super buildable. It's really blinding. It's gorgeous. I'm just not a, hit, a hand. I'm just not a huge fan of, like, the cream product in here. I don't know. I'll play around with it, but I'm not the biggest fan of cream products on my face. But everything else, I think, is really pretty. The blush is natural, and then the highlighter is, like, beaming, and it's stunning. So... Yay. The final thing that I got is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss. I'm obsessed with these. I just raved about these in my current favorites. I have the shade Totally and I picked up the shade Sugar because I love that one that much. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of with these is the smell, but regardless, the glosses are so like... Oh, they're just so amazing. They literally make your lips look buttery and creamy just like the name and just like so wet and just delicious So I'm just gonna take this. I've never tried this color and I'm just gonna pop this on Oh, it's pretty. It's like a pinky mm, It's actually a little bit more, more pink than what I normally like It's weird. I didn't use lip liner because I didn't get like a new lip liner. So okay, this is really pretty It's a little pink for my liking. I feel like I definitely need like a like to mix this with like a lip liner or like a lipstick or something but I like the color I am obsessed with these you guys need to get these lip glosses these are really good so I had to stock up on that the last and final thing that I got is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray can you guys believe I've actually never tried this before I've tried the D Slick Oil Control Setting Spray back in high school I honestly 
didn't think that it made a huge difference back in the day. My skin used to be super oily. So I was like, you know what? Let me just give this a try. It was on sale for this big bottle. It was only $18. So I was like, mm, why not? I love me a good setting spray. And I hear everybody pretty much raving about this. So let me just go ahead and give it a try. So I'm just going to spritz my face and lock my makeup into place. That right. Ooh, that smells so good. It's so refreshing. Perfect. All right, guys. So that completes this try-on Sephora haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this style of video. Do you like my hauls like this, or do you like them just me, like, traditionally, like, holding up the products and showing you swatches? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All details are in the description box below. And I'll see you in a few days in my next video. Bye.